As we approach Christmas morning, how would you describe your life? Maybe like the wise men in the nativity scene, you feel like you have everything, but there's still something missing. Or maybe like the angels, you're filled with joy at the announcement of what Jesus did for us. Or maybe you're like the shepherds, you feel like you're on the outside looking in. But today I wanna to focus on Mary, because I think most of us, if we're totally honest, would feel like we're just kinda normal, common, maybe even insignificant. And I think Mary kind of felt that way too. She, she was just a small town girl from a small sleepy little village with really simple dreams, just to have children live a life that was filled with some happiness and joy. But everything is about to change on that very first Christmas. In Luke 1, 26, it says, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And I know Mary in this nativity scene, she's pretty fancy dress, but she would have been very common. But don't let what you see fool you. What looks like a simple common girl with a small dream, seeming like nothing really significant was gonna happen to her, is about to be radically shattered by a truth. But you need to know something about her too. She was actually from a royal descendant line of King David, and she was a part of a prophecy. The fact that she moved from Nazareth to Bethlehem was a part of God's plan to move her. See, what you need to understand is that nothing, and I mean nothing in our life is random. There is nothing common about what God wants to do in you. Now again, just hearing that, you might think, no, that's impossible. And she thought that too. When the angel tells her what's about to happen, it says she was troubled, she was disrupted. And maybe you feel like that too. What if God really wanted to do something amazing in your life this Christmas? Would that be your response? No, that's impossible, not for me, maybe someone else. Well, the angel said, don't be afraid. You have found favor with God. God knows and he cares about you and he is with you and he's doing something in you. Well, so how did Mary navigate her situation? Well, she just accepted it. She accepted what God had said and was willing to obey with great courage. Her own words were, may it be to me as you have said. So how about you? Are you ready for God to do something in your life this Christmas? Are you ready and open for something maybe supernatural, something incredible, something that will transform not only you, but the people around you, the family that you love? Because that's the promise of Christmas. So don't be deceived by what you see. And don't believe the narrative that has been given to you. Instead, believe that God is with you and with him all things are possible. There are no random mistakes with God. He has a purpose for your life. You just have to believe it.